The greatest showman of the 19th century, Phineas Taylor Barnum, made society believe that a star lives in every creature on our planet. Imagine what kind of show he could create, having in his arsenal not the physiological abnormalities of man, but disturbing anomalies of cosmic proportions. Jellyfish, tadpole, yeti, baby boom, zombie, and cannibal. These are the interesting nicknames given to the strangest galaxies of the universe. So, how about a little star show? The first number in our performance is the abominable Space Yeti. Recently, U.S. astronomer Christina Williams noticed an unknown spot of dim light in the sky. It turned out that the glow was caused by particles of a dust cloud heated by the stars of a huge galaxy. Previously, it was impossible to see this celestial body through its dust curtain. It could only be distinguished using an array of ultramodern ALMA radio telescopes. Further exploration of the giant simply stunned scientists. It was so ancient that it's hard to even imagine. According to the calculations of researchers, the galaxy was born over 12.5 billion years ago. The universe itself, by cosmic standards, is not much older. It may have celebrated just 13.5 billion birthdays. Astronomers gave the cosmic relic the nickname Yeti and were puzzled by the question, how can a galaxy survive for so long? But it turned out that the Yeti also had another unique property. At its wise and respected old age, this ancient galaxy produces stars a hundred times faster than the Milky Way. However, this is not the strangest galaxy among those that we already know. Galaxies basically look like foggy, spherical, elliptical, disc-shaped, or spiral gray spots illuminated by the light of stars, but not ESO 137-001, located in the constellation Southern Triangle. It's very similar to a jellyfish with bright blue tentacles. The jellyfish moves at a tremendous speed of about 2,000 kilometers per second relative to its environment in the Abel 3627 cluster. The space between the galaxies is filled with an intracluster medium made up of superheated plasma. A strong stream of red-hot plasma permeates the galaxy as it moves. There's a shock force that is stronger than its gravitational attraction. This force, like the wind, blows gas from Medusa and its flows form tentacles. In this case, dust particles and stars are not subjected to as much pressure, so the general appearance of the galaxy is preserved. 300 million light years from Earth, in the constellation Dragon, is a galaxy in the form of another aquatic inhabitant, the tadpole. Its huge tail stretches for 500,000 light years, which is 10 times the diameter of the Milky Way. Perhaps two disk galaxies stretched out a smaller dwarf one and formed a space object with such a strange shape. At one end, many stars are grouped together, forming the semblance of a head. The remaining stars are stretched into a long tail. However, scientists are still not quite sure about this explanation. They continue to study the galaxy in order to accurately determine the causes of its strange configuration. But it would seem that not only astronomers are observing space. Galaxy IC2207 is quite similar to a huge eye carefully examining everything around it. For this, it was named the Eye of Sauron from the fantasy film The Lord of the Rings. This form of IC2207 is created by the environment of dense clumps of the stars and dust of two other galaxies, NGC2207 and IC2163. According to astrophysicists, the eye will observe the universe for only another several tens of millions of years. This is just the blink of an eye in the cosmic concept of time, so finding such a phenomenon is pretty unique. Another very strange galaxy, Messier 63, is located in the constellation of Canis Venatici at a distance of 57 million light years from Earth. It looks like a sunflower, as if it came from a painting by Van Gogh. The galaxy consists of a central disk surrounded by short sleeves, petals of blue-white stars. 
This cosmic sunflower has the unique ability to constantly change colors. Astronomers always see its core bright yellow, and the petals appear milky white, then purple, blue, or brown. In turn, WISE J224607.57-052 from the constellation Aquarius is not any less refined in its form, but it shines brighter than 300 trillion suns. At its center is supposedly a supermassive black hole. Due to its gravity, the black hole attracted gas and matter to itself, forming a hot, rotating disk around it. The disk temperature reaches several million degrees. It emits ultraviolet and x-rays that heat up clouds of dust around the black hole. The red-hot clouds begin to radiate with infrared, turning the galaxy into the brightest object of its type in the universe. Located 4.3 billion light-years from Earth, Max J0416 in the constellation Eridanus also burns brightly in the night sky. Its glow may have arisen as a result of the collision and the gradual merger of two huge galactic clusters. An image taken by the Hubble telescope captures clouds of gas and dust, characteristic of such a space accident, as well as displacements in the positions of clusters of dark matter. There's an assumption that as a result of these processes inside the MAX J0416, a record amount of hydrogen was gathered, a necessary ingredient for intense star formation. But the incredible fertility of the galaxy, which is located about 12.2 billion light years from Earth in the constellation Sextant, is beyond doubt among scientists. Galaxies are thought to slowly produce stars from gas and dust. But this one is operating at a record speed, for which it has received the nickname Baby Boom. She manages to give birth to a new star in just two hours, while, for example, the Milky Way takes 36 days to do this. In other words, Baby Boom produces 4,000 stars a year, and our galaxy only produces 10. This galaxy will need just 50 million years to become the most massive ever seen. According to astrophysicist Peter Kapak of the NASA Science Center, if people gave birth so frequently, then nearly everyone living today would be the same age. Max 2129-1 in the constellation Ursa Major is the exact opposite of baby boom. This massive, disc-shaped galaxy rotates twice as fast as the Milky Way, but is far less active. It received the nickname the Zombie Galaxy because for 10 billion years, it has not formed a single new star. Scientists are wondering why the dead galaxy has not disappeared like others. Well, they're inclined to the hypothesis that some cosmic zombies somehow internally rebuild their structure as they age. W2246-0526 from the constellation Aquarius might also have long been in the category of zombies due to the loss of hydrogen necessary for star formation. However, it found a way out and began to obtain vital gas from its neighbors. Scientists using the GBT telescope discovered cold streams of hydrogen, which, like bridges, connect the space between NGC 6946 and its smaller companions. By now, presumably this cannibal has already sucked out about half the mass of three galaxies and is very actively producing stars. It was given the nickname Fireworks Galaxy due to the large number of supernovae in its sleeves. Over the past 100 years alone, astronomers have discovered eight such stars. However, it's likely that our Milky Way is also going to eat its own kind. According to one theory, in 4 billion years, it will suck out all the hydrogen from the large and small Magellanic clouds and then completely absorb them. But after 5 billion years, it, in turn, will be swallowed by another cannibal, the Andromeda Nebula. But this is still in the very distant future. And for now, scientists are looking for clues to numerous other phenomena in our galaxy. For example, soon, 
They hope to determine the nature of the strange magnetic field inside the Milky Way. It's a stream of high-energy particles that extend over a distance of 15,000 parsecs through the galaxy. This distance is approximately half the diameter of the Milky Way. Another interesting hypothesis remains to be verified. The existence of not just one, but two black holes in our galaxy. It was previously believed that in the center of the Milky Way, there's only one supermassive celestial body, presumably a black hole. But in 2016, Japanese astrophysicists discovered a second such object 200 light years from the middle of the Milky Way. Its diameter is 0.3 light years, and its mass exceeds the weight of 100,000 suns. Strange, shocking, and amazing worlds surround us. No matter how hard scientists try to fully catalog the universe, they still won't be able to sort through all its secrets anytime soon. But the more ambitious the goal, the more enthusiasm humanity displays in its pursuit. Perhaps modern technological developments will help us see beyond the usual. In this respect, great hopes are placed on a space telescope called the James Webb, whose launch is scheduled for March of 2021. Maybe it will allow us to see new galaxies that will impress us even more. And which galaxy seemed most unusual to you? Tell us about it in the comments. If you like this video and want more issues on the same topic of space, give us a quick thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, click on the bell so you don't miss anything. All the most stellar videos are still yet to come.